So to get started with on this notification page now, let's go in and create a notification component here. So we're going to have a fair few things in here. So to get started with, I want to head in and the relevant HTML first. So for the HTML in here, we want the first class here to have flags, item start, SpaceX for, border B, padding of four, border T, border gray, 200, dark, border dim, 200, hover, is gonna be background gray, 100, Dark is going to be hover, background dim 300. We're going to have a cursor pointer, transition, duration of, let's say 350. Ink's in out, padding bottom of four, border L, border R. And now we're going to go ahead and have an empty two with a flex shrink here and a text blue 400. And then here we're going to show the icon. And then we're going to have a flex one. We're going to have an image in here. Now for this image, we want to essentially have a link around it so let's go ahead and make sure we have that first which is gonna go to the user page of that user that we have we're then gonna pass through an image here and then below this anchor tag we want to have an if notification type essentially where we'll check the notification type and then display either a follow or like slash retweet. But before we get started with that, I wanna head into our notification component and just create the basic functions we need in this. Let's make sure we return view in here. And on rendering this, we want to have a database Notification as notification, public function mount. So we want this to be read essentially upon loading the notification. Like that. We want to have a public function in here, which is going to get the user. return in this case user find this notification data user ID and we want to just pass through a user in here and then we also later want to have a function which will rent out the icon as well and we want to have a function which gets the treat but for now I want to go ahead and essentially make sure we can show this so if we head into, let's say, like, actually let's go into our retweet action component. Upon here, we want to essentially notify the user. So in here, what we can do is essentially say, upon retweet, If of use ID is not equal to the person who retweeted, we want to notify for the retweet notification. And that's essentially how we will retweet and notify the user for the retweet. So we would have to be logged in as a different user in here as well to trigger this notification. Upon liking, we also want to do something. So let's head into treat actions. And in here, if we like it, we want to notify the user. And again, that's going to be relatively similar. And 
and outside of that we just need one now when we follow so for that we have the profile page where we can go ahead and do that so let's hit and find that and then the profile component we just want to make sure that we essentially dispatch this and we can do that on a deeper level inside the user model has follow us trade to go follow and all we want to do in here is where we say notify user we want to create a new follow notification so now we should be able to essentially trigger these uh, follower and like retweet notifications So let's go ahead and see if we can trigger this. So I've had the entire application here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to log out. And for now, this will break the application. So let's log in. And then in here, inside our application, we have two users here. We also have Taylor. So let's log in as Taylor here. Okay, and then let's just like a few of these tweets, but we just need to make sure we're also running herd here, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure we run, run this here. Let's make sure we like a few. Let's retweet one here. And let's go in and make sure that we go into the profile page of Matilda, so let's go into here and say follow and let's go ahead and see what we have now if we log out of Taylor's profile page and then log in. And inside our notifications table you can see we have these here so we have got the records which is brilliant inside notifications page we want to now iterate through them so what we can do in here is we can essentially just go through the notifications and then we can have lifewire component notification and pass through notification in here and the way we get these notifications inside the notifications page we just need to make sure we get them in there And that will essentially be a collection in here as well. So you can see we have these notifications in here. That's exactly what we need. So inside notification now, we can now in the next video go ahead and finish up styling around this and making sure that this works perfectly and be able to display the different icon by essentially inside our notification part in here we can display the correct icon by creating a get icon function so we could go ahead and do that now and then we can in the next video work on the rest of the styling in here so for the get icon we will have a bit of a longer function here so it will look a little bit messy because we just getting the icons in here and then we're just returning it as HTML. So yeah, these icons will be available up in the repo or so on GitHub so you can get ahead and download them there. And then all we need to do is just say this get icon.
make sure we spell this correctly. There you go. So it means we have a like heart icon there. We have a retreat icon and we have a follow icon. So that's brilliant. But in the next video, we will start styling it up and displaying the tweet and all the relevant information in there. But that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll 